Hello, scientists! This is Scientific Illustrator John, and I am the producer behind Draw Bell Med. In the comment section, I received a question asking me how to draw a tumor. So I think this is a very good opportunity for me to show you how to use a tool called Scatterbrush in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's start to draw Bell Med. So first and foremost, we need to create a cancer cell. It is very easy. Let's use a leaves tool to create the cell body and then hold shift to create a perfect circle. Yeah. Um, then we need to change the fill to a gradient. Uh, let's uh, click it over here. And I can show you how to make the gradient with the nucleus. Um, so here, gradient tool, a gradient fill, uh, radio one, then let's select the um, darker color. Mm, that's a little too dark here. This one. Now this is the basic shape of our cell, and we need to twist it a little bit to make it cancerous. Well, uh, first let me uh, change the outline to gray, and then grab your direct selection tool. Come here and just toggle the handles to make it to make the outline irregular so it can look cancerous. Let's make it even a little more dramatic like that. Mm. Yeah, just do uh, whatever you want. Good. Select both, Command G to group them them a little bit smaller. Uh, then we are ready to make the uh, scatter brush. So I already made two over here. Uh, this will be the third one. So uh, if you select this object and then directly go to new brush, scatter brush, it will, there will be a warning pop-up saying that uh, it contains element that cannot be used in scatter brush. The reason is uh, the gradients that we have over here, uh, the scatter uh, brush cannot process it. So we need to expand it before making them into a brush. Let's do the nucleus first. Let's come to object, expand. Yeah, um, it will ask you uh, to expand fill, stroke, and specificity. We will have. 22 objects. Let's do that. And now, even though the uh, gradients still look almost similar to what we had before, but it actually has 32 circles within it to build up this gradient. By doing that, the uh, scatter brush function can process it. Okay, uh, well, we need to do the cell body to go through the same process. Let's go to object, expand, and also specificity, 23 objects. Okay, great. Now uh, we have the unit that is ready to be made into a scatter brush. So let's come to the brush panel over here and click on new brush, scatter brush. And we have the scatter brush options pops out. Let's rename it to cancer cells. Let's click OK first and we will do the adjustments later because I want to show you what the scatter brush can do. So if you create a path and then apply the scatter brush that you had, then you will see your uh, cancer cell will be scattered along this path. Let's zoom out. And how do we make it into this um, cluster? If we draw the path like how we make a cinnamon bun, and you'll see the cells are clustering together. And I will make them a little bit uh, smaller. You can do that, or that's a little bit too small. 
So by drawing the path like cinema bun, you can see your cells are clustering together. Now they look a little bit unnatural because all the cells are pointing towards the same direction. And we can randomize their direction by uh, do some editing with our scatter brush. So let's go back to our panel and double click on the brush. So here you'll see we have four things that we can toggle with. The two factors that we will play with a little bit are the scatter and the rotation. First I'll make both of them random so they will look more natural. And remember to put on the preview so you can see the effect of it. I'll move it a little bit over here. So when you start increasing the percentage of the scattering, you'll see your cells are starting to uh, radiate out. And if I decrease it, you'll see they uh, got tightened up together. And then uh, the same concept applied to rotation. So if I make some rotation, and you'll see uh, the cells are going along different directions. And this is uh, even more individual directions. Good. Apply to stroke, yes. Okay, so uh, you see uh, now uh, it really looks like a bunch of cells piling up together. To fill up the gap, I will simply duplicate the path that we have already, then just spin it to a different direction, then place it on top of it. Yeah, just uh, do these minor adjustments until you are satisfied with the shape. So if you think that this is a little bit too tight, you can also go back to your scatter brush and then increase the scattering. Then you'll see they will loosen up in the uh, in the cluster that you already had. Put them back again. You can fill in the blanks by putting some of the units that we already had. Make it even more three-dimensional. We need one more over here. You can even drag it a little bit to make it more dramatic, like that. If you want to, you can add the blood vessels that they have in the example. You can very quickly do it by adding some red lines. Let's see. Uh, increase the size more. That looks good to me. And this is how you use scatter brush tool to make a tumor for your graphical abstract. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to Joe Belmat for more tutorials. Also, welcome to leave in the comment section to let me know of which structure that you would like to learn and I can make a tutorial for you. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.